Hello again, my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be looking at the work of Kelsey Montague, who is a street artist. And we're going to see the type of work that she makes. Let's get started. So when we're looking at Kelsey Montague's work, she usually paints on a wall or a building. And that is usually what street artists do. They paint on walls, usually outside, um, on the outside of buildings. So when we're looking at Kelsey Montague's work, she's a little bit different than a traditional street artist because we see her using things like paint pens instead of something like a spray can. And we wanna talk just a little bit about what kind of images do we see her creating here. Um, you're gonna notice, obviously, first off, these big pair of wings. Um, and wings remind us of a lot of things, um, butterflies and birds and angels. So I want you to think a little bit about why this artist could be painting wings. Uh, why is that such an important part of her art? And you're going to see it over and over again today. Another thing we want to think about is what kind of details do we see her adding inside? So we're going to skip ahead just a little bit here. Uh, you'll notice she adds a lot of detail in her work and that really invites us to get close and see what kind of images she's chose to include into these really large wings so if we step back the picture is very grand in scale but if we notice there are a lot of details in here we might be able to uncover why it is she is making this style of art so we see a lot of things in there, and I want you to think about what those images mean and why she chose to include random things like a drum and a toilet paper and uh, underwear and a phone. So let's look at some more of Kelsey Montague's work. Again, she is a street artist. Um, we're going to see repeatedly these wings in addition to other things uh, that lift her, and we're going to talk about that phrase. But what I want you to really realize is street art is very different than art in the traditional sense. There's something very special about it. And one of the people's reaction in public, um, it's kind of a more genuine response when someone sees something randomly than, say, if they were to visit in an in a museum. So traditional art, that's usually something you have to find in a museum. But street art, you don't have to pay to see the art in a gallery space. That work is free to the public. Anyone can access it and they can access it at any time and they can walk up close to it and uncover the details and kind of spend time with the art. They can pose with the art. Um, and all of these are kind of limitations in a traditional sense, but when it's street art, it's a little different. Now here, we saw some hashtags being displayed, and today we're going to talk about what this hashtag is. Remember, a hashtag is something on social media that kind of connects themes and ideas and allows other people to see things related to that theme or idea. In this case, we're talking about Kelsey Montague's work, and we're talking about this hashtag right here, what lifts you okay and we're we want to think about that today um, and what that phrase means to us so let's think for just a moment about what that could mean what lifts you is kind of like the wings right so we want to think about both physically and you know in a literal sense and also a little bit more abstract what does that term mean we've probably heard things like what lifts you up or what is uplifting to you see that over and over again in her work and uh, I want you to think just a little bit about how that can affect you how could being uplifted brighten your day um, so we're talking about lifting our spirits, lifting our mood to a more positive mood, and kind of thinking about um, acts of service, maybe helping someone brightens their day, maybe just bringing the groceries for your mom, maybe it's uh, receiving a special treat, or your friends giving you a hug when you need one. What kind of things lift you up? We're going to talk about that today, and I want you to think right now, what kind of things lift you? And uh, we're going to see some other artists who say the same. 